This is the Dell Optiplex 3060 Micro, and I'm installing some extra RAM into this for another video I'm doing where we're going to do some emulation testing on this. If you're interested in that video, hit the subscribe button, it should be one of the next ones coming up. And this does seem like it will be a pretty solid choice for an emulation machine. Anyway, that's not what this is about. I figure I might as well just make a video where I'm installing the RAM in case it's useful to anybody. First thing we'll do is just remove the bolt on the back. Put that aside. With the front of the computer facing you, you're going to sort of pull the top towards your body with the front facing you. And that should just slide right off. You'll have to excuse the chair desk as I am a horribly unorganized person. My desk is very cluttered. Alright, so first of all we're going to have our hard drive holder here. It's really easy to pull out. You just kind of slide it forward, pop it right off. In here you'll see where the hard drive is. Another neat thing about these, even though they can hold a 2.5 inch SSD, I believe they came stock with these M2 hard drives, which is a, a pretty nice uh, detail. And 500 gigabyte M2 hard drive at that. Now if you're buying it used, it might not necessarily have that still. They might have taken it out, as a lot of people would probably want to keep that. But again, a nice touch. Now it's another thing I like is it's really simple to get to the RAM. You have your fan here, and then this sort of plastic piece. All you have to do is push these two little tabs inward on the plastic piece right here. And then you can just lift this entire thing right off. Be careful you don't pull the wires out. So just kind of lift it off slowly, and then you can put that off to the side. Now that it's off to the side, you can see our heatsink here, and right here is our RAM. There's already four gigabytes, and we're going to install a second four gigabyte stick. Okay, so here we are with a little closer look, and again, as you can see, here's our first RAM stick, and here's our second RAM slot. We're going to put this in at a slight angle, so it's angled upwards a bit. Put it in as, at an angle, then just push in and down until it clicks into place. These two little metal tabs on the side will click inward, and that's how you'll know it's securely positioned. With our RAM inserted, we can drop our plastic fan back into place. And again, it's really simple. Just get it roughly lined up, and then just apply pressure downward, and these two tabs click back into place. We're also going to drop our hard drive holder back into place. You can see there's a little tab right here, so and that's going to line up with this hole on the hard drive holder. You're going to want to drop that down right over that tab, and then you're going to push the whole thing backwards until this tab in the back clicks into place. I definitely like the style of this. They made it fairly easy to swap out all the components, which isn't isn't super common with micro PCs. All right, now we're just going to put the case back together and the same way we took it off, we're just gonna kind of drop the plate down onto the computer and then push it together and put our bolt back on and that's it, simple enough. Thanks for watching, catch you later.